see what a morning, gloriously bright, as the angels announce Christ is risen. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Happy Easter. Welcome to our St. Gabriel's Worship for Home for this Easter Sunday. It will be uh, hopefully a joyous celebration and I hope wherever you are joining us from, you are celebrating the risen Christ this Easter Sunday. It is great to welcome you to our worship from home for this Easter Sunday. Over the next 30 minutes, we're going to sing praise. We're going to reflect on the Bible and we are going to pray. So as we come into this moment, as we come into this celebration, we pray. We thank you, Jesus, that you rose from the dead. We thank you that you live in our lives and we thank you that we can celebrate you on this Sunday and every Sunday. Jesus, through your spirit, come and meet with us as we come and worship you. Amen. Amen. Well, if you meet with God and Jesus over this next 30 or so minutes, please like, please subscribe, please comment below. And as we come into our worship, we're going to sing our first hymn of praise. See what a morning, gloriously bright. Let's sing together.
is Easter. So let's right at the beginning proclaim the faith that we have in Jesus Christ from the book of Philippians. So we say together these words, though he was divine, he did not cling to equality with God, but made himself nothing. Taking the form of a slave, he was born in human likeness. He humbled himself and was obedient to death, even death on the cross. Therefore, God raised him on high and gave him the name above every other name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Well, we are going to take a moment to reflect and think about our Bible reading today. We're going to hear the story of Jesus uh, being found risen from the dead from the book of Luke. So let's take a moment to open up the scriptures together and then we'll take a moment to reflect on them. Luke chapter 24. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you, while he was still with you in Galilee, the Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words. When they came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the others. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the others with them who told this to the apostles. But they did not believe the women, because their words seemed to them like nonsense. Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. Bending over, he saw the strips of linen lying by themselves, and he went away wondering to himself what had happened. So it is Easter Sunday and there was awe and wonder when Jesus was found, the tomb was found empty and that the disciples first met the risen Christ. There was awe and wonder from all of the people who saw Jesus at that moment. They were scared, there was worry and concern, but there was still that awe and wonder. And when was the last time something that Jesus did made you, or left you with awe and wonder? Jesus Christ rose from the dead to save us from our sins. Jesus Christ rose from the dead to transform our lives. And if you are someone who is still not quite sure, Make this Easter Sunday the day that you recognise Christ as Saviour in your life. When you have faith, it doesn't make things easier, but it gives um, someone and something to fall back on in difficult and tough times. Jesus Christ transforms our lives through the power of his Holy Spirit. And I hope that you know his love and his presence in your life. I wonder what it would have been like to be the women there seeing the empty tomb for the first time, meeting the dazzling men, or dazzling angels, should I say. I wonder what you would have felt like if you were one of the women. I wonder what it would have been like when you went back and told others and they thought it was just an idle tale. I wonder if you were Peter, what made you run and go and check it out? When in your life have you doubted Jesus? When have you doubted what others have said about Jesus or your faith to you that has meant you've got to have gone and checked it out for yourself. 
This Easter story is the greatest ever told, but it's not just the story, it's a living thing. Jesus died but rose again. The tomb was empty. We know countless times Jesus appeared to his followers and to others. We know that because of the power of the Holy Spirit and Jesus in people's lives, they have been healed and we read it through the Bible. We know that this isn't just a story because it has lived on for generations and generations. People have had powerful experiences of the risen Christ in their life. I have, and many of you watching I know have had. It's not an idle story. It's not just a way of life. It's Jesus' resurrection is transformative is amazing and is challenging. I don't know, have you accepted Jesus into your life as a risen saviour? I wonder what it would be like if you did. This Easter, may you know the power of Christ, may you know his spirit living through you. And may you read this scripture again and believe. Believe that Christ rose from the dead. Believe that the disciples who were in awe and wonder of what had happened didn't just keep it to themselves, told others because it was a secret that they just could not keep to themselves. They had to tell. And I pray that this Easter week, this Easter day and beyond, that you can't keep it to yourself, that you just have to tell someone else about what Jesus means in your life and about what Jesus has done or will do because you know him as risen saviour in your life. We read the story. What phrase or word stood out for you? And I pray that as we celebrate this Easter day, that it's not just an Easter day for you, that every day is an Easter day. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, who rose from the dead. We thank you that we can live in his power and we thank you for the lives that he has transformed. And I thank you that he has transformed my life as well and that you are more than part of that. And I thank you that even through my struggles and my difficulties that you are there, that I can hold firm to you every day of the week. And I thank you that every day is an Easter day in my life. Amen. We do recognise Jesus in our lives, but sometimes, just sometimes, we don't actually believe it. Sometimes we turn away from our faith. Sometimes we are a little bit like the disciples, thinking it's an idle tale, and we run, uh, and we, we walk away, and we don't believe. Sometimes we don't do the things that we should. Sometimes we don't treat others as we should. All those things are the things that Jesus called sin. And we, on this Easter Sunday, have that opportunity to have our sins forgiven so we can live in new life again. So we take a moment to say sorry to God for those things that separate us from his love this day. And we say together, Father, we have sinned against heaven and against you. We are not worthy to be called your children. We turn to you again. Have mercy upon us. Bring us back to yourself as those who were once dead, but now have life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may you know this Easter Sunday, the forgiveness of God the Father through the death of his Son, Jesus Christ, and his rising in glory. And may you live in the power of the Holy Spirit now and always. Amen. Well, having been forgiven, we're going to sing again another song of praise. So let's worship together now. Cross the end. 
So having worshipped together, let us take a moment to pray. Let's pray for ourselves, for the world and for others. So we take a moment to pray. So we come to a time of prayer. And as we do that, we look on God's creation. And say thank you God for the world that you have created. We thank you at this time of holiday that we can enjoy your creation in new and different ways. We thank you for the opportunity to rest. We thank you for the opportunity to spend time with family and friends. We thank you for the opportunity to spend time relaxing in your creation and Lord we pray and ask for forgiveness for those moments where we haven't treated your creation in a way that we should and we ask that you will help us to tender your world to look after it and to pass this on to future generations in a safe way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And Lord, we pray for those who are looking to cross the channel and across the sea for a hope of a better life. Lord, we pray for whatever situations they are fleeing from from persecution, from war, from famine. We ask that you will be with them in their journeys, 
but you will give them a new home and a new hope wherever they get to. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray for all those who make a living off the sea, for those who transport goods across the world, for those who provide food from your shores. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are crying out to God and Jesus this day, for those who are sick or unwell, for those who are mourning or pain or suffering. Lord, we ask that you send your spirit of comfort upon them, that they will have people put around them to help them at these times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray for those moments when our faith is not strong enough, where we do not cry out when we should, when we turn away from your presence. Lord, let us have just a crumb of faith that we, in our times of darkness, our times of trials, and our times of joy and happiness, know that we can cry out to your son Jesus for help and in times of joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we finish our time of worship together, we bring our prayers to close by saying the words that Jesus taught us in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. I mean, well, we're going to sing again in a moment, but remember, you can find out all about faith and the life of St. Gabriel's on our website and through our newsletter. And you can donate on this Easter Sunday to St. Gabriel's through clicking the link below me. But as you go, may you go in the name of God, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. May you live this week as a, ris as a disciple of the risen Christ. And we sing together, thine be the glory. Thank you.